Capricorn, welcome in to your monthly reading. Yes, I am back with the month, please. So um, I will be going into your month of April. Let's see what we got going on. As always, if you don't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram to stay in touch with what I'm offering or what I'm doing. Um, but if you're interested in getting a personal reading, be sure to check the link in the description box or work one-on-one -on -one with me. Uh, check my website, all the things. But let's dive into this reading. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Cross Your Mind uh, by Sabrina Claudio, which is like, saying, do I ever cross your mind when you're with this other person? Um, so somebody might be coming in and asking you that question, or like you might be curious in that sense about somebody else. Something that I will say is in the pre-shuffle, my pre-shuffle routine, the moon and the judgment card came out, which is like the awakening card in the deck. So it's kind of like, I feel like there's gonna be like a lot of feelings that have been held in are gonna be coming out and in a really dramatic way. Um, like there could be like a rebirth of something, but it's like this, like these deep emotions kind of like think tsunami <laughs> um, or think like, it's not even the tsunami, it's that awakening card that's here. It's like, you know, like when the, there's like a crack in the dam and there's like a shooting out of emotions. So I don't know if that's on your part or somebody else's part, but I feel like that's something that's going to be going down in the month of April. So fun stuff. Let's get some clarifier or let's get some Oracle cards here. See what we got coming through for my Capricorns in the month ahead. We have speak up, use your voice to express yourself. So there we go. It's all coming out. <laughs> Um, we have remember who you are, return to your roots. So again, kind of tapping into those deeper emotions, like the subconscious, maybe something's going to be returning to you and you're having this kind of awakening. And we have lesson, wisdom, th wisdom through mistakes. So even with that cross your mind like that, it might not even be a person, it might be some kind of memory that comes back to you or reemerges that causes this kind of like awakening moment or, you know, something that you've been shutting out that you think about because because that's what I'm seeing is like that dam, right? And that's what the dams do. They like block out the water, but it's like there's a crack and then it all just comes flooding in. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the Moonology cards have to say. Oh, okay. Um, the energy is gaining momentum. The answers that you need are coming. One more. We have luck is on your side. Show the world the real you. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of expressing yourself in some kind of way. A lot of communication here. Kind of what I said is like a lot of things that have been held back for you on the emotional front, I feel like are going to be pushing outwards in the upcoming month, this could be you or another person. In the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands here. So this could symbolize, you know, taking action towards something or you kind of taking forward movement here. It also could symbolize somebody coming towards you, but let's dive in and kind of find further overall energy of the month. We've got the Tower card. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Um, <laughs> Okay, why is the tower card here? I'm not even gonna touch on that until I get a clarifier. Why is the tower card here? 10 of swords. All right, Capricorn. Looks like it could be a little bit of a, a little bit of a rough month, um, at least in regards to the tower card could be coming in for a numerous amount of reasons. It, it's showing you the unstable foundation. Um, the theme here with the Ten of Swords, it's like ending cycles of hurt and betrayal. You could be blowing, like the tower, you could be blowing up your own self-sabotaging behaviors or your own like loop or cycle that you've created that you keep finding yourself stuck in. You could be blowing this up with the tower card here, Ten of Swords could be obviously an external event that's kind of forcing you 
into this Ten of Swords energy, energy forcing you to recognize this kind of cycle, this loop, this self-sabotage. Um, let me get one more here. What does this have to do with? The Ten of Crystals. Interesting. So we do have something, something with the Tens, there's like this finality here. This could be something that's keeping you from that kind of Ten of Pentacles energy. It's like you're pursuing this, but you're also sabotaging yourself and getting it. So like a structure that you think is really, um, it's almost like you're, you're in, you're in, and that's what like our comfort zones are, right? It's like we feel comfortable there. So we think it's like stable, but it's actually not. And that's why the tower has to come in, right? So that's like what's going on here. It's like something that you think is really sturdy and like secure and stable. It's actually just your comfort zone and it's like a, a, a self-sabotage pattern and the tower is coming in to kind of knock that over. Um, so fun. Hierophant, that's a positive card. The Taurus energy, we have the seven of crystals. We have the nine of swords, okay. Um, and mind you, this could be your energy or somebody else's, so don't, don't don't marry the reading okay you don't have to marry the reading i don't know why i'm saying that because the hierophant is on the table so these could be things that are coming up like don't marry you don't have to marry the you don't have to marry the idea what are ideas ideas are things that can come in and go like you don't have to marry the idea um you don't have to marry the thought like maybe marriage is gonna be a topic of discussion for you, but it's like too soon, too soon to be making, having these conversations. So it's like, you don't have to marry the idea, you don't have to marry the thought, but the higher fan is on the table. So commitment is here. Seven of crystals, you've invested in something. You've invested in something, and that might be the, 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 the issue here. It's like, I've invested so much time and energy, it's like the gambler, right? It's like when you go play blackjack at the casino and then you like lose all your money and you're like, well, I've already lost this much. I've already been here. Like if I keep playing, maybe I'll win it back. It's never how that works, right? <laughs> that is never how it works. Um, it's like, I've already put money into this. Like I might as well wait till it yields for me. It's not how it works. It might not yield for you or like, Evaluate what it's yielding for you right now, okay? So let's see, Hierophant. Let's get a Hierophant clarifier, please. The Five of Cups, yeah. Yeah. This is something that you've invested in that that's like you releasing it, you releasing this or you letting it go forces you to confront the fact that you could have wasted time energy um in regards to investing in this and that's kind of what you're not wanting to confront right so let's see nine of swords why is the nine of swords here the page of cups um with the nine of swords and the page of cups here this is that restlessness this is that anxiety and i feel like if this is the energy that you're dealing with my bottom row is always kind of the external energies, so take it how it resonates, whether it's a person, whether it's like an external thing. Um, I feel like there is this kind of message coming through, or it's like asking you to get out of your head and into your heart, and this could be the person that you're dealing with, right? Um, a lot of thoughts that need to be put into words. It's hard for them. It's hard for them. Could be you though too. So just take how it resonates. Um, we've got the King of Swords. We've got the Four of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Um, the King of Swords. What is the King of Swords doing here? Air sign energy. What's the King of Swords doing here? This is kind of being clear and decisive. Um, two of swords going inwards, getting really clear and decisive on what it is that you want, on what it is that you are, because sometimes the two of swords can be like 
going inwards to find the answer, but it can also be that we're blocking out what's right in front of us. We're blocking out what's right in front of us. Like, um, you know, missing, missing opportunities here with the Four of Cups. I really feel like this has to do with something that you've invested into, that it's like, you know, crying over spilt milk, right? Crying over spilt milk. Um, doesn't have to be, but Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands doing here? The Four of Swords. Um, and then we have the Death card showing up. So, like, transformation and energy. Something that needs to kind of be cut out in order to transform. Like there has to be some kind of ending here. There has to be some kind of death here in order to be reborn. Um, so it's like, what do you have to let die? What do you have to let die in order to have this rebirth, if that makes sense? Um, and this is where it's asking you, you, we've got four, four. So it's like retreat. Like there's, there needs to be a retreat um to re like what needs to die what needs do you need to let go of in order to create space for what is meant to come in to come in like that passion that uh, thing and that's where it's like really getting clear on your own desires that's the most important thing if you are dealing with a person this is kind of what they're going through though it's like they're trying to reconnect with themselves with what they're passionate about and then it's like you know kind of mirroring you to do the same. So if there's this space that's happening, if there's this kind of pause, know that this person's trying to find their foundation. They're trying to find their passion, their happiness. You need to do the same. You need to get really clear on what it is that you want. Investing in yourself, we've got the Eight of Wands here. We have the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the star card. So for those of you that are resonating that this is a person or you're dealing with a relationship here, I do feel like your person is transitioning from having these anxieties, these fears, this restlessness. They're tapping into their heart space. You could get a nice message from this person, but it's going to be followed by like retreat, meditation, contemplation. They're trying to figure out that um, passion you know, what they even want from a relationship, what they imagine from a union, they could easily come back with like, you know, that's where you have to get clear as well to find out where, where do, where do these things line up? You know, the star card here, I do feel like this ends in vulnerability. It ends in like that trust and that wish fulfillment. But this is like that outpouring, that hope, like this person is being reborn in like this hope and this openness of kind of sharing, sharing and releasing here. With the Eight of Wands, this is like fast forward movement on your part, catapulting forward. But here's the thing, you have to let go of this idea of like, but I've already invested so much energy into this. Like it's not too late to turn around like it's not 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 that it's not too late to turn around but it's not too late to you know cut the cut the stop stop the funds what is it when you're investing and it's like stop funds um stop like when you're do when you're trading it's like the stop funds like when the market goes down somebody's gonna know and somebody will comment it why is the eight of wands here Knight of Crystals. Yeah, so something speeding up in regards to something that's moved really, really slow. Okay? But like, halt funds. Okay? Stop investing. Stop investing right now. Stop investing and in thinking it's going to come back. It's going to, the more I, like, it's like you're at the gam, you're at the casino right now. Okay? And it's like, walk away from the blackjack table. Tonight's not your night. You can come back another day and decide if like the hands are good, but tonight it's not the night, okay? So stop, stop funds, whatever that word is, stop it. Because that's gonna free you up 
to start investing in yourself, to start getting really clear on what it is that you want. And that's actually going to move forward faster. You putting energy into whatever it is that you're trying to put energy isn't going to help it move faster. That's why I'm convinced that this is a person because for some, or, or for some of you, if this is like a project that you just can't, you have to give yourself the space. You have to give yourself the time. Um, why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? The strength and the star seed. Okay, so yeah. Um, and then the temperance card. So if you're dealing with a person, they're doing their healing. They're doing their healing. They're gaining that strength and courage to take that leap of faith, to take some kind of risk here. But they kind of have to figure out what it is that they want. And to be honest with you, there's no guarantee that it's going to be this. But like, that's the remember who you are, right? It's like you have to do the same. And why I the only reason why I say there's no guarantee is because that's the message that the universe wants to tell you. You know, it's like you can't wait around for something that's not 100% guaranteed. You can't pause your life. You can't slow down. Like, yeah, you could win all your money back or you could keep losing more. Cut your losses, cut your losses, put that energy back into yourself. And if it's meant to come back, it will, right? You have to do your own healing and trust that this person is doing theirs. But like, what if this person does their healing and you have not, and they show up here and it's like, well, I don't want somebody who's not healed. And then you've wasted all this time when you could have been healing and it could have moved faster. Like you gotta be at the, it, 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 it's like being at an intersection. You gotta get to the intersection at the same time, right? You gotta keep moving forward. You gotta keep moving on um, and hope that you'll reconnect at some kind of intersection. This is in regards to projects, in regards to passion, in regards to love relationships. You can't just keep dumping into something that's not yielding. You have to figure out what's yielding and you continue moving forward and then you're eventually going to get to something that yields, right? So before I move into the extended where I'm going to pull some archetype cards, some different tarot, get really specific on this energy, some message cards, some tarot, sexual tarot to see more on the love side. Um, let's pull some here and just see kind of what are the themes of April for my Capricorns. Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups and then the Two of Crystals. So it's like the Seven of Wands is... Um, pushing forward, like over persevering, overcoming some kind of obstacles. But the Eight of Cups is like walking away from what's not yielding, what's no longer serving you on an emotional level. Um, walking away from what's draining you. And then we have the Two of Crystals, which I think is important because it's not about making a decision. It's about balance. It's about juggling, you know? It's about balancing out. Like it doesn't have to be one or the other. Just finding a balance like it doesn't have to mean you have to cut off a situation or let go of this dream it just means you have to keep moving forward you have to keep trying different avenues you have to keep trying different things being open to new opportunities because whatever you're doing right now you're not open to new opportunities and that's where the universe is going to come in and rock your shit okay so what's coming towards you in the month of April? Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands. Stepping into your power. A lot of happiness. And the Knight of Cups. It's like you do get a romantic offer here. The Justice. This is like karmic settlement. But a lot of this is contingent on the... What's it? Let's ask. What's it contingent on? Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. The world card, dropping the burden, dropping the 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 the, the self deceit, um, dropping the disbelief. The seven of swords, like stop lying to yourself. 
Stop lying to yourself. Drop the baggage. Um, the tower card here. What's the tower? What's this tower moment? The death card. Yeah, an ending. The two of cups. Um, it could be a transformation in regards to a connection with the empress here. Um, there is this feeling of birth and new beginnings. Like it's like the death card. This tower isn't bad. The death card's not bad. But something has to die in order for there to be a rebirth. Something has to die in order for it to be born again. With the two of, with the Empress card here. Like something has to be let go of in order for, you know, that's like what birth is, right? Something has to be released where you think about like, every day somebody dies every day and somebody's born every day right so it's like the end is not the end it's just a new beginning that's the most cliche statement but it's like oh my god it's so true <laughs> uh, what's gonna be reborn here four of crystals um the three of wands and the ace of wands something that you've been like holding on to um, but it's like, God, there hasn't been bedroom for it. There has not been bedroom. Something that you've been holding on to, and it's like the foundation, right? That's what the tower comes in to do, is to bust out the foundation. Um, so it's like something you've been holding on to as a foundation. It's gotta go. It's got to go. And that's when like this three of wands, ace of wands comes in where it's kind of like this, this, this passion, this excitement that you've been waiting on shows up. But first, God, something you've been holding on to has got to go. And this could be within yourself. It doesn't have to be an external thing. It's like something within yourself, some kind of like part of yourself that you are so rooted in, some kind of narrative, some kind of foundation that you've built for yourself that repeats these cycles, these loops, it's got to be busted. It's got to go. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Capricorn, in the extended. We'll dive in further to this. So check out Vimeo. You can either single purchase or you can subscribe and get access to all extendeds um, each month. And I will see you over there. Bye.